all doing well? Uh, thank you so much for joining us here today. I know that you all have busy lives and lots of things to get to, uh, but you decided to take a moment of your time today, just a thir short 30 minutes uh, to spend some time with us. And we don't take that for granted at all. Uh, today is going to be full of some excellent takeaways, but I'd like to give you a brief overview of what to expect. Uh, first of all, my name is Louie. I am the field marketing lead here at Pathify. I'm going to be your guiding light <laughs> today, uh, but I'm also going to have some additional support in the chat that will be here to help me answer some questions. Um, for some of you who may have interacted with Pathify previously, you probably have met Julie, who is incredible. She is our senior sales engineer. She knows all of those tough, uh, really technical questions that I do not know the answers to. Uh, so she is royalty. And we are so, so grateful to have her. So please don't be shy in the chat if there's anything that comes up. And if I don't know the answer or if she knows it better than I do, she'll be there to help us out with that. Uh, so I imagine that all of you who are here uh, could be at different levels of knowing you know, who Pathify is, what we do. Uh, but all of you are here to learn more and get your questions answered. So we're just going to start today uh, by just taking a couple of minutes to go over who we are here at Pathify, the problem that we solve, and why institutions choose Pathify. So if you know all that stuff already, that's all right. Take a couple of sips of coffee. Uh, we're getting everybody on the same page with that. Uh, and then after that, we're going to get into the nitty gritty and the reason for today's call and today's session uh, to take a look at the platform itself. Um, now, we typically do demos in a one-on-one -on -one capacity, right? And we really customize them according to your specific institution's needs and what you're looking to accomplish. And frankly, our platform has so much that we could never fully go through every last detail here in just a few minutes. So this is going to be fairly high level, but it'll give you enough to kind of understand and get your legs beneath you, if you will. Um, I'll be saving some time for some Q&A at the end, so I encourage you to use the chat throughout, right? If you see something, write it down, uh, and I'll make sure to spend some time getting to that at the end, um, and just let me know, right? And also, Julie will be there, too, so that's a great resource again. Uh, so I, with the chat, do your finger exercises, get them ready. You know, we love to have a conversation. The best demos are a conversation, um, so I'll definitely feel free to interact there. We will, you've got plenty of resources to meet you there. So what do we do here at Pathify, right? <laughs> well, we try to solve this picture right here for colleges and universities. We have found that most institutions have an ever-expanding universe of stuff like this that students have to hunt and peck their way through. And while this may have worked, I don't know, 20 years ago, traditional student portals tend to take students on a treasure hunt for information rather than helping them navigate this universe a little bit more easily, right? Uh, and the issues that result go far beyond what is listed on this slide, as you probably know. Uh, like I mentioned, while students hunt and peck their way through links, systems, resources, when they eventually get frustrated and confused enough, what do they do? Well, they contact the help desk, the help desk for support. Uh, they might ask their friends. I know that's what I did in college. You know, it depends on who you ask. That may or may not be a good uh, route uh, to find a successful college career, right? Uh, but too many of them simply give up, right? And that's just sad. We don't want to see that happen at all. Um, we all got into this industry for a reason, and we want to see students succeed. Uh, another result of this is that many institutions and departments have inefficient responsibilities and duplicated effort in order to manage that ever-expanding universe of the systems, resources, software, you name it. And I'm sure this is a problem that you've heard of before. It's probably a prob uh, problem you've heard of in your own institution or someone nearby. Um, unchecked, this is unfortunately continuing to head in the wrong direction. And without the ability to walk it back a little bit and consolidate, it's going to get worse. That's kind of the, just the nature of, you know, the way things go with point solutions, right? Problem, solution right here. Problem, solution right here. And it just kind of continues growing. Um, and so we definitely see that. The short answer is that we are the unifying layer uh, that actually brings your entire tech stack into one. I know it's a little bit of a trendy phrase lately that often gets misused at conferences and things like that, uh, but we function as the single pane of glass that brings your entire digital universe into a single 
individualized experience. We meet each user where they're at in their journey, whether it's a freshman, a transfer student, a student getting ready to graduate, or hey, even faculty and staff. Yeah, that's right. You, you matter too. <laughs> And we do it with the best practice user interfaces and experiences that students and faculty and staff, I know, I know I do too, right? What, what we're used to and honestly expect here in 2024, <laughs> it, technology is so good, right? We get the best of the best everywhere else. People want a modern UX and UI and they expect it. So full parity of web and mobile, which you can see on the screen right here, creates much needed simplicity for our users. So here on the left, you can see the web version. And on the right, you can see the app version. The UI is the same, which eliminates confusion. So it's remarkable how many institutions have been stuck with completely different web and mobile environments uh, with duplicated effort, like I mentioned before. Um, and by the way, not all Pathify instances are rainbow. We just like this one. It's pretty. Branding can match you and what you want. Um, so now that you've got some quick context, uh, let's switch gears into why institutions path choose Pathify. And then after that, we'll get into the demo, I promise. Uh, so I'm going to run through eight fundamental reasons put together based off of custom, uh, customer conversations that we've had with institutions that have chosen Pathify and have been able to reflect on why their decision was worthwhile or what made them choose us to begin with, right? And number one, first and foremost, is our mission. So while other portals focus on connecting students with information housed specifically when the SIS or the SIS, Pathify exists to connect your entire digital universe, both information and people, in order to make the student experience as connected and seamless as possible. These are the kinds of things that students are looking for when they decide which institutions that they want to enroll in. Number two, uh, independence. Unlike portals connected to the SIS and other SIS company solutions, Pathify is an agnostic front end that allows you to add or replace any tool without having to worry about the impact on your portal and mobile app, ex app experience, right? So you can do an SIS transition completely behind the scenes, um, which I know is a very, very relevant topic in today's higher ed ecosystem. Number three, integrations. Other portals, they allow you to build, build integrations, and Pathify does too, of course, uh, but we are also very much proactively integrating with more and more of your most popular systems every single sprint, meaning more out-of-the-box integrations and less work for you. And I know that sounds too good to be true. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more later on, um, but seriously, we can get widgets deployed within minutes minutes. I'm not joking. Uh, four, features. So on the surface, other portals offer many of the same features as Pathify. Uh, but however, once you dig in, you'll see that Pathify separates itself completely, whether it's granular role-based permissions across all kinds of content or functionality to connect students and build community or even digitizing your student ID. We offer the deepest portal functionality that exists in higher ed. Uh, design, <laughs> short and simple. The UI and UX of university systems gives a massive impression about how much our institution cares about the student experience, or your institution rather. Uh, one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to show that your institution does hold high regard for the student experience is through polished modern design. With less high school graduates enrolling in college, competition for students continues to heat up. Uh, so as an example, Pathify's Prospects module offers institutions a low cost way to separate themselves completely from the crowd and connect students' uh, prospects with their experience, uh, culture, student body, increasing the probability of the students actually selecting your institution over another option. What an amazing resource, right? Uh, customer success and customer experience. Uh, while it's almost a cliche at this point, we find that many customers truly are looking for a partner uh, rather than just another vendor. Pathify is full of awesome, awesome people uh, that value excellence in their work. And we have countless stories of how we've worked with customers to implement quickly, um, or develop new integration or solve a problem that they hadn't expected. Many of the decision makers across our customer base 
they've commented that our partnership focus was a key factor in their decision to choose Pathify, and they stand by that decision today. Uh, this next one, ready? Ding, 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 save money. My goodness, no, your eyes are not deceiving you. <laughs> the majority of institutions in the U.S. higher ed market uh, and across the world, really, that what we've heard, uh, have tight budgets. We get that. Uh, but we are hearing more and more that many institutions can actually save money by using our platform through consolidation of other redundant tools. Not only that, but the simplicity of our platform frees up IT manpower to be able to fry bigger fish, <laughs> right? There are plenty of other things that IT folks have to worry about. Uh, many institutions are running homegrown or self-managed portals, which require IT involvement to update content. Uh, at the same time, many have either built or managed completely separate mobile app uh, or web solutions, right? All of this resulting in duplicated overhead and effort, which Pathify eliminates by offering a single SaaS web and mobile platform that any employee, even non-technical ones, right? I've got my, uh, my fingers pointing at myself for that one that any employee has the skills to create content on. So just imagine all of the other things that your team can accomplish with that freed up capacity. And then finally, uh, oh my goodness, my, my slide skipped ahead. Challenge the status quo, there we are. Uh, as a company, we are here to challenge the status quo and inspire customers and empower them to stand out and really create truly outstanding experiences and defy the previous standard of a link farm portal, right? We're done with those. Uh, our co-founders of Pathify, Chase and Jimmy, they started this with the company in mind uh, and it continues to be true today. Pathify is the best portal product and most widely used and implemented standalone portal product in higher ed. All right. Ready? Now that you've got the, the Charlie Brown, like, wah, 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 teacher uh, voice, we're going to go into the exciting portion of today. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Let me swap over my screen share to the platform itself. One moment. Perfect. All right. Share screen. And... Oh, wait, let me do one thing. There we go. And ba, 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 there we go. <laughs> all righty. Perfect. Let me check in the chat. Looks like we are all good for now. Um, and again, as a reminder, if you have any questions about anything in particular, definitely put it in there and we will be sure to get to that. Okay. So when you look at Pathify, you're going to see a lot of stuff on the screen. And so throughout all of this, keep in mind, as you mentioned this earlier, there's an app that is totally paired with the experience that you see. It's modified just enough for make it, uh, to make it a delightful user experience via the phone. Um, so the ID card, for instance, as an example, let me show you. This is something that's a little bit more geared towards the phone. Uh, not many people will scan their laptops <laughs> or iPads to get into the dining hall or the library. They might, I don't know, they could if they wanted to, but this is a little bit more geared towards the phone. Um, but the mobile versus web very much is and feels the same, right? Uh, so updates that you make to the platform itself, they're gonna be reflected in the app. You know, you only need to make one, app, uh, one update for both. Uh, branding right now, is set for Pathify, right? So Pathify University, but every one of our users has a brand that fits them. And it is so easy to change, by the way. We'll make, get into an example of that a little bit later on. Uh, so what each user sees on the screen is entirely dependent on their role, okay? Roles shape and mold everything throughout the platform. I'm currently impersonating a student who's getting ready to graduate, right? Um, so maybe the career hub, for example, with job opportunities shows up, whereas the role of a first year student may be set up to equip a student based on their specific needs. Or maybe even the remote learner role might be a little bit different from that too. Uh, this dashboard can be as locked down as you like, or it can be very customizable for our users, right? You can drag widgets around. Um, you can even lock down widgets that are required, right? So this is a specific example here. Um, 
like I mentioned, maybe I'm a student that's getting ready to graduate right now. So perhaps I don't need the map anymore. Maybe I've learned how to get across campus um, in the years of being there. So we can get rid of that. Um, and then it'll get rid of that immediately, right? So you can see all of those things. You can change the sizes of them, all kinds of fun things, right? Super simple. You can create your own experience. Uh, so we've got tons of different widgets, right? So we've got currently seven best practices is to generally six, right? Um, so if I get, want to get rid of the career hub, I can do that too, what that kind of looks like. But if you want to go through and find new widgets, you can go through. We've got tons and tons and tons. I could go on for hours uh, about the widgets that we have, um, but I won't because there's other stuff that we can get into that gets you a better idea of the platform itself. But just know that there's a ton of opportunity here to really create a customized experience. Um, I do want to make sure that you don't go to overwhelmed with this. Um, the workload is not crazy as it looks, right? It takes about 10 weeks to go live. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit more. Sometimes it takes a little bit less. Uh, generally speaking, our team can get it on its feet uh, about as fast as the institution or university is willing and able to, you know, uh, go through that implementation process. So it can be really, really quick. Um, the widgets are pre-built. Again, they can get live in minutes. Uh, so there are a couple other things that other portals do have here, right? So the tools, for instance, down here, uh, they're not super remarkable in and of themselves. Many platforms have this, and we're not going to do away with it because we know it is valuable. Um, but again, what we do is so much deeper, mostly because of these widgets in the center of the screen. I want you to think of these widgets as windows into other systems. Uh, these are the core applications of an institution, right? Um, so you want to go in, you can see your assignments, you can check your grades, you can get announcements, um, you can look at your required courses for your degree, see what's going on here. Um, you can schedule appointments with your advisors. You can check and see how much money you have for printing for the day. Um, and you can do all of that in this matter of just a few seconds, which is so, so cool compared to that previous standard of a treasure hunt link farm situation, right? So we're not going to replace your core applications of your institution, but we're actually going to thread them together, creating that cohesive experience, right? Uh, well, in many cases, as I mentioned, we can consolidate some of your applications and regain some of your budget. But again, the extent of that really depends on your current tech stack. And so we'd love to talk to you about whether or not that might be your case. Um, it more often than not, it will be the case, but we would want to go through that with you and, and explore and see how we could help you consolidate. So uh, a lot of portals, like I mentioned uh, before, a lot of them are just links, right? Um, so the end user doesn't know when to click on whatever link it is to access whatever application. Students are attending, you know, Pathify University or whatever university is that you have. They don't necessarily need to know what Blackboard is. They just want to know the information. They want to get their grades from Pathify University. So it's worth to point out uh, that you can change the names of all of these widgets right here. Widgets right here. Um, you could do my uh, my degree, my courses, uh, my calendar. You could even change this to dollar dollar bills with three Z's if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could do that if you wanted to. Is my point. Um, so again, the difference of this portal compared to your other portal. Other portals are very much like um, old school paper maps. And then Pathify is going to be a lot more like Waze, right? Telling you what to do, when, that kind of a thing. Search bar. Uh, let's talk about this for a second. Uh, we have the ability to help users find things by putting it in search bar. I know, first time hearing about a search bar. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. But no. So we're, we live in a search bar kind of world, right? Uh, my friend Google is the smartest person I know. Uh, and that is something I will stand by until the day I die. And I don't even type in google.com anymore. Uh, you just put it in the bar, right, directly. Um, but you can filter the results to get exactly what you want. Um, and on the admin side, you can actually spider the search bar uh, to help uh, prioritize whatever external pages and domains you'd like to be pulled in or whatever, whichever one you want to be pulled up first. But um, let's do how to register for classes. Beautiful. We've got an FAQ. We've got an announcement that comes up. Let's go here. 
boom, contact the registrar's office um, on how to self-register or whatever it is. Um, we've got all kinds of great, great search bars. It is amazing how many institutions don't have legitimate search bar experiences. Um, let's see. I don't know. Um, political science. I don't know if I've got a political science in here. Um, I do have a different kind of science. I know that computer science. Thank you. Computer science. Um, but you know, you can go in and you can find groups, you know, you can find a job, right. You can find a computer science building. There's a lot of really great ways to get connected with your community just by using the search bar. Right. Um, let's talk about announcements at the top right here. Um, so at the top, uh, there are different psychological triggers to ensure in, uh, different kinds of impact with each announcement. Um, I want to show you how simple this is for a non-technical person here. Um, what I just am doing right now, I'm jumping into my admin side of things. Um, so currently I'm an admin. And let's go to announcements. I'm going to add an announcement. Um, I'm going to say snow closure, go skiing instead of school. Um, and I'm going to say you better do it. Sounds like fun. And I can do a lot of different things here, right? So I can I can bold, right? I can you know leave the Y unbolded right there, like I just did. That's a choice that you can make. Um, I can say, sounds like fun. We can put that in italicies too. Um, you can do all kinds of fun things. You can add emojis. You know, you can do whatever you want. Cool. Um, I can send it to different roles, right? So if I want this, I just want the first year students to go out and ski and have fun for the day. Um, I can specifically send it to just first year students. Or instead, you know what? I want to send this specifically to that role that I was impersonating a second ago, right? Um, let's see. I want to require a user acknowledgement, right? I'll show you exactly what that means. Um, and yeah, so I can do a no notifi notification, uh, uh, push notification is the word that I'm looking for. Um, I can put it in the activity feed. I could do an email. Um, we don't typically recommend using email. This is a true story. I've got a webinar coming up on Thursday, and one of the folks that is going to be on our panel from one of our partners, she said she did a study uh, on the number of emails that go out to students on a semester basis. I bet you can't guess how many uh, they got in the span of one semester. It was over a thousand emails per semester. Um, that's insane, right? This notification fatigue is just absolutely crazy. And so meeting students where they're at um, is really, really important. You know, for the most part, we're talking about 18 year old kids. They don't know life without a phone. So that mobile push notification is really, really important, right? Um, perfect. So let's go ahead and send that notification. And we're going to see with even with my unbolded Y and everything. And then what I'm going to do I'm going to go back and impersonate my fun little alter ego, younger me. And then we are going to go in here, right? And then you will see, oh my goodness, my announcement is right here. Snow closure, go skiing instead of school. Uh, you better do it. Sounds like fun with my unbolded Y and everything, right? Um, so super cool. This is the require user, off, uh, user acknowledgement, right? So, um, it will pop up right before I can access the rest of the platform. I have to acknowledge it or because I'm in impersonation mode, this is an admin thing. I can skip because I'm in impersonation only. And I want to make sure that that student uh, sees that when they log on, but it's me. I'm the alter ego of myself. So I can acknowledge uh, <laughs> for myself here. Hopefully you're following along with that. Um, Let's see. So tasks next, let's go into that. Uh, tasks are great. They are, uh, just as easy to use as the announcements, right? With if an administrator wants to send them out to different uh, different groups, right? First year students or all students to register for classes, that kind of thing. That's great. Um, I obviously uh, need to register for summer classes by August 1st in nine days. That's great. I also need to do some health documentation. I can also do self-managing tasks, right? So if I know that I need to go to the library and get textbook, right? I can do that. 
do it. Awesome. And then I'm going to set the due date. We're going to make sure that that happens tomorrow, right? We've got reminder notifications, all kinds of fun things. Uh, very, very user friendly. Um, but we're going to put that here. And then that's a self-managed task as well. Uh, this is important, right? Because of retention, right? Which means money. Uh, you can get five students to register for classes through that task uh, and be able to stay in school just because they reached their deadline because of their interacting with this really, really delightful user-friendly user experience that reminds them to do what they need to do. That's your ROI right there, which is super, super awesome. Um, let's talk about forms. Uh, forms are brand new. Um, one of our newer features, we just released them. Um, so in student view, you can go over and you can fill out a form, right? Super, super easy. Um, this is a great, great way, bang snap, to get your forms filled out. Um, events and calendars. I know you saw the calendar widget on the dashboard, uh, but let's jump in and see a full snapshot of what this looks like. Um, from here, you can filter, right, what you want to see. Um, so say, I'm not really, a, I am a football person. We're, I'm not going to lie to you with that. Maybe I'm not a computer science person, <laughs> so I don't want to see the computer science uh, calendar right here. Or if I want to explore some other ones, I want to uh, play with some student government situation stuff. I'm, I want to explore that. Um, I can change the color. Um, I can do whatever I want, make sure it's more important, right? C customize it quite a bit. Um, or yeah, so I've already got that calendar. That's why. Sorry. Um, if I want to add the residence life calendar, right? I can do that. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's going to be here uh, in addition to what I have. Oh, yeah. Scroll down a little bit. That's what I'm looking for. Um, directory. Let's talk about this. Uh, this, just like any, anything else in the platform, is highly granular in customization. Uh, students can be hidden. Uh, specific information can be hidden, whatever you want. Uh, one thing that's kind of fun to think about, you can actually keep your faculty and staff directory behind a login so that only specific or designated users can access your information. Uh, does anybody want less random calls or emails from those pesky salespeople? <laughs> uh, with Pathify, we can protect you and your whole team, and you'd be a hero for that alone. Um, so keep that in mind. We can we can we can save you from those to a degree, right? Uh, shortcuts. These are great. You can make them your own entirely. Um, you can create any kind of shortcut linking to a group or a page or a tool that you want to have easily accessible in order to equip what, someone for success. So for example, um, if you wanted to create, if you have the prospect facing portal, for instance, um, you can create your own specific shortcuts that shows up for future students, right? So you could do applications, you could do FAQs, you could do a student ambassador group, right, instead. Um, and then they just, when they become current students, you can equip them with different relevant shortcuts. It's another way to create a customized journey. Um, let's go to pages. I'll get to groups again in a second here. Um, yeah, let's go to pages. Let's go to residence life policies. Uh, your marketing and communications department is going to love this. Um, this is what allows you to clean up your public facing website and put what's designed for current students behind the curtain, similar to what we talked about with the um, with the directory, right? Uh, why would you clutter up your public facing website with stuff that's made for current students? It's a marketing tool, right? Uh, it, combined with resources, this is a lightweight content management system. Um, so just like announcements, you don't need to be technical in order to be able to do and manage this. Um, again, if you've ever bolded an email and added a picture, it's very simple to create this experience. And with granular permissions, by the way, you can actually delegate to student workers and require approval before edits go public um, or not if you don't want to. But you can use student workers and really create that um, extra layer of kind of dispersing the work and giving them experience that's valuable in the real world. Uh, groups. Let's go back here. I'll just kind of do the back, but actually, no, I'll do it the, the proper way. All right. Computer science. Right. Let's go to the computer science group. Um, Everything we've talked about so far is a reflection of our ability to connect systems together. Uh, 
And what we are doing as well is helping to connect human beings together. This is the part of the portal that makes a student or a person want to log in the most, especially since COVID kids these days, half of their reality is rooted in their device. A lot of their identity is rooted in their online personas. And that's just a fact, right? So if I were to look at my, um, profile. Let me show you actually the other one because it's more filled out because it's not impersonation mode. Um, but you can see it's the same way. I can add all sorts of information, languages, hobbies, uh, even skills, um, all kinds of fun things. Painting, that's not really a skill. It's maybe a, a wannabe skill someday. Um, but it helps this with in, co in combination with groups and everything. It helps them feel like they're a part of something. Um, and we can connect events to groups as well. So let me kind of show you, again, going to computer science, show you an example of what that looks like, right? You can connect the events to groups, right? So you can have ways to get them involved. Um, I know we are at time here. I'm gonna check the chat. I haven't seen anything come through yet. Um, I know I have just raced through a lot. Um, there is so much more that we can go through at some point with you. We've got the admin side of things to kind of see behind the curtain, what that looks like. Um, we can see the faculty and staff widgets, right? You can do your time card. You can, uh, here, let me just really show you that quick because I'm talking about it. You can do your time card. Uh, you can load your support tickets. You can do new uh, campus maps for new faculty and staff. You could do grades. Uh, if you have a meal plan and then you want to see what's on the menu, uh, you can get a cinnamon roll today if you'd like. It's on the menu. So many different things that you can do. Um, yeah. I don't even know uh, know what else to show you at this point in time. If you'd like to see more, please don't hesitate to ask ask us. Uh, we are our salespeople. Uh, they don't bite. They are friendly. <laughs> they are well-trained. They don't track mud in the house. <laughs> no, but really, they are here to help. Um, my personal mission that I share with much of my team is creating a better uh, experience for today's students and equipping them for success. Uh, they're our future, for heaven's sake. I think that's pretty important. Uh, so we have the tools available to not only bring the digital experience into 2024, um, but it's a win-win-win across the board for all stakeholders, as you can see with the faculty and staff. Again, uh, scratched the surface, um, but I hope that you got a little bit out of today and, and see that there's so much more that we can do uh, to show you what we've got Thanks for staying with me with for two extra minutes. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and please don't be shy. All right. Thanks everybody.